Billy Wiz Gamer back online. Gonna show you how to use the policies today. So you press Y to get into your main menu here. Once you in your normal menu, press left over to policies. White piece of paper with the green tick, and let it be released. Here you can see the different policies that are available to use within the game. Uh, power usage, energy conservation is important, and the best way to do it is by installing energy meters in buildings. This will moderately reduce electricity consumption, but the upkeep is five cent per building. I'm all right for electricity, to be perfectly honest. I've, I had loads of oil uh, power plants that I didn't have working, and then I've created an oil industry, and now they're working. So I'm creating loads of electricity. Cut those shower times in half and guide citizens to more sustainable water usage by installing water meters in this building. In buildings, that's the water usage one that will moderately reduce water consumption, but the upkeep again, same as power usage, is five cent per building. The smoke detector distribution, you can see I put this on, make citizens' lives safer and the fire department's jobs easier by installing smoke detectors in buildings. No more will poor cooking skills lead to house fires, at least not as often, and that will significantly reduce risk of uh, fire. Parks and recreations, you can make your parks and plazas the envy of your country. This will moderately increase the land value around parks and plazas. Uh, but it does increase your decoration budget by 20% so that's quite a significant gain uh, on your budget there you'll notice that I would imagine pet ban tired of watching uh, your step to avoid animal droppings banning pets is a sure way to get rid of that problem then again you might be killing a fly with a sledgehammer here slightly reduce garbage accumulation I'm going to put that one on I have problems with um, my rubbish and, and garbage removal because I don't know why, it just never seems to, people seem to whinge about it a lot. Recycling is a big part of the environment. Environmental sustainability also helps keep the neighbourhoods looking tidy. With a small investment in recycling technologies and waste containers, you can make your city neat. This will slightly reduce garbage accumulation. Again, I've got that on. Smoking ban. Make a choice between a healthier lifestyle and civil liberty. It will make your citizens healthy, but some people will certainly be high strung. This will slightly increase health slightly decrease happiness. My um, medical centres and everything along those lines are ample and adequate for the people I have, so I'm not going to put that on. I'll, if they're unhappy, then they get ill, you'll need more. It's a bit of um, a vicious circle. Education boost. As you can see, I'll put this one on. Uh, this boosts the education budget and makes young adults automatically choose education over working. Prioritises education over working for young adults, increases education budget by 25%. It's a lot of money, the 25% extra on the education budget, but you don't want uneducated workers. They'll never earn good money, the taxes will be low on them, and it's not the way the evolution of the game works. You need to have educated people to work in educated jobs, high offices, high rise offices, and buildings along those lines. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, right, so we're on recreational use, allowing recreational use of controlled substances attracts more tourists but also requires more police presence in the area. This will slightly increase tax income uh, and moderately increase tourism. I've got that one on, I didn't done it from the start, it seemed to draw in tourists from quite early on, I'd recommend it. Uh, free public transport for all citizens increased. Uh, use of public transport but no ticket income I'm going to turn that on now because I've got about 45,000 population and it is getting busy I don't know why again the school's out I wouldn't ever put this one on uh, it just seems like a stupid one to have citizens will prefer working over education and only a small portion of the eligible citizens will go to study in the university Again, like I was saying, you want educated workers, they get higher money, more taxes, uh, have a richer life, be able to pay more for land, and again, just be able to, in general, have a better be, have a better life in your city because the low-paid workers will struggle. Harsh, citizens, harsh prison sentences. The prison sentences are twice as long as usual and the harsh verdicts keep the worst felons off the street for longer. Double the usual pr prison sentences, so people will be in there for longer, but it does reduce the crime rate. Um, I've got a prison, and it's, I'm going to turn that on, right, and, uh, again, just 
stop the people committing crimes. I've got a prison, they can go there for twice as long if they want to, I don't care. Don't bother me. Taxation, let's have a look at taxation. So you've got tax raise for low density residential, tax raise for high density residential, tax raise for low density commercial, tax raise for high density commercial, tax raise for offices, tax relief for low density, tax relief for high density residential program, tax relief for low density commercial, tax relief for high density commercial, tax relief for offices, let go of leisure, leisure specialised areas, stop generating tax and but get a hefty boost in their entertainment and attractiveness values. So I guess if you had a theatre or the Sydney Opera House, then that would be a good one to, to put on, um, so you wouldn't earn any money out of it, but a lot more people would come to that area. Last one on the city policies is the city planning. So you've got the small business enthusiast. Uh, this is perks for small businesses, low density commercial buildings, double their sales, but the upkeep is two cent uh, on the low density, per low density commercial building. Big businesses, perks for large businesses, high density commercial buildings, double their sales, uh, upkeep four cent higher per high density commercial building. <clears throat> I'm going to put that on because that's um, well worth putting on, I think, big business. And it's like, Hi, um, let's just do this industrial space man. It allows industry to work even more effectively by overlooking a few work safety laws. Doubles the amount of good produced by industries. So, I mean, I'm going to do that one. Why not? Gets more, gets higher production level out. I'm not bothered about six cents per building. Turns them into much cooler smart homes to raise the land value around them. Slightly increase the land value upkeep. Let's put that one as well. If, if my budget goes right down and I'm losing money, I can always come back and just unclick these ones because... I don't want a high rise ban until I have uh, forbids construction of tall buildings, restricts the building from reaching the highest level. I don't want that, I want my building to be mean. Heavy traffic ban, ban heavy traffic in an area, making make sure that you are optional routes. Uh, and deliveries, because businesses in the city need to send and receive deliveries. No heavy transport vehicle allowed, does not affect highways. I keep pressing B for some reason. Encourage biking. Many supposed to use active motors and prefer bicycles over motor vehicles. I've been trying to build a lot of roads with bicycle lanes and whatnot. I'm not going to ban bicycles on sidewalks. No point. I want people to be biking. I'm going to do NIMBY as well now. No loud noise at night. I'm getting people that are getting a bit sick um, of the noise. They'll have the little headphones on. They'll have the red little thermometer coming out of their mouth. And basically they're, they're getting pissed off because it's so noisy around all the time. If you put NIMBY on, that will help. Uh, slightly on their happiness so I'm going to put that one in Old Town is the last one only residents and businesses can use the area for motor vehicles ban other traffic I might do that in some areas in the future but i am just got this on for my whole, um, whole city at the moment so I'm not going to go mad for those little specific areas that um, you need to Okay, and then on the right here it's just got a it's not the name of the place I didn't change it so it's called Rockwood um, tells you that you've got how many children, how many teens, how many young adults, how many adults. And I've got 9,271 seniors. I don't know what I'm going to do with the seniors, to be uh, perfectly honest. I'm sure they'll give me an idea of what uh, needs to be done. Households, 13,133 over, let's just say 15,000 for ease. Um... So I've got a bit of space there for people to carry on moving into. Population is forty seven thousand at the moment. I might do I'm probably gonna do a video when I reach fifty thousand. They're going up and down, it's all planned. Uh and there is workers, my working population is very high as you can see I've got quite a low weekly tourist visits ninety nine. Um to increase the the tourist visits Put in a big attraction, um, like the Statue of Liberty or something along those lines, and have yourself a nice little tourist info. Also, if you are making a tourist part of the city, um, I would really strongly recommend using the taxi ranks. Um, that's what they're made for, the tourism side of things, where people come in on trains, they want a taxi to the next place, and that is their sort of speciality field. So if you do create anything big, put your tanks uh, anything big on the attraction side, put your taxi rank there and 
you should be fine you should find that they're being used a lot and keeps traffic off of the road anyway guys thank you for watching and listening i hope it has been of assistance to you and you're a bit more clued up on your city policies um the services the taxation and the city planning if there's any questions or queries please do not hesitate to leave a comment below and um i'll reply to it as soon as possible thank you for watching please subscribe if you want to see more videos over and a